everybody, it's Peggy, and I just wanted to do several things here. Um, for those that have joined in the card making, um, <clears throat> the themes for July are five any purpose cards on the 15th and then Christmas cards on the, the 31st. Um, the additional challenge, which you do not have to do, you can just make whatever you want, um, but if you want to, for the all-purpose cards on the 15th, they must be 3x3 three three or 4x4. Four four. And then for uh, the Christmas cards, the optional challenge is all the cards must have Santa or elves and or elves you can have both on there but one or the other so that's for July and then if you're really ambitious and are wanting to get uh, jump on things on the 15th of August it will be five birthday cards and on the 31st, Christmas cards, of course. And the optional challenge for the birthday cards is they must be a gift card holder. And for the Christmas cards, no red or green. They can be sky blue, pink, or purple, or black, or brown, whatever you want. But no red or green. That, those are optional choices for you. You don't have to do that. Then if you're really, really, really ambitious, uh, on the 15th of September, five Halloween cards, or if you're not into Halloween, just five any purpose cards, and then on the 30th, five Christmas cards, the optional challenge for the Christmas cards, they must have animals on them. Okie doke. So that's July, August, and September that we got there. Okay, and before I go any further, I want to say a special thank you to Janet Hamilton for sending me this Prima doll. I don't have this one, so she's a, a nice addition to my collection. So thank you very much, Janet. Appreciate it. Okay, I had uh, a couple, three people ask me about these tags that I had done for Myra's tag, Christmas tag challenge that she's got, got going on and wanted a tutorial on them so they're extremely difficult to make oh my goodness so the first thing that you need is a strip of paper 2 inches by 12 and you will score that at five and then you need a, some kind of a, an edge punch yeah. and just stick that in there get it lined up so that's even I don't think it's quite even. Snap that off so that gives you a fancy end. And while we got our punch out the tag that slides inside here. We'll punch the end on that too while we got it out. The hardest part is getting it lined up. That's close enough. There we go. So that gives you your fancy end. So you've got your score line at five inches. Just gonna hold that up. Give it a burnish. Either use glue or tape. Now the trouble with tape is that when you slide your tag in it sometimes will stick 
against the tape, the side of the tape, so actually glue is better. So just run a, a thin line of glue up the side here. There we go. Yeah, that's hard, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go. That's the the pocket for your tag. And uh, and that that'll just slide down inside like that. And um, now on those tags, I use the Gina Marie. Um, what do you call it? Dies here. There is a another piece that goes in there, but they were falling out, so it was easier just to leave them out. So you can die cut them in a different color to put on the inside. So that's the the uh, mittens that I used for that. Or you could uh, use uh, a a I'll get out of the way here. A uh, gingerbread man that I've cut out, and that's in the copper. And another option would be the snowman, and you could color him up. So. Anything at all that you would that would fit on the front. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Or the the gingerbread man, and just put some some kind of embellishment on there. Whether you use washi tape or um, lace, or you can get as fancy as you want. And um, what I did on these was use the crocodile and the uh, eyelet and then ran some ribbon through it. You could just punch a hole, you don't need to put the eyelet in. And then I added just a, a rhinestone to the top of the, this tag. Now I got a little bit more ambitious and heat embossed the Merry Christmas on that one. This is just a, a slap together card that I wanted to make to show you how it's done. So that's how hard it is. So that's 2 inches by 12 inches. Score it at 5. Cut the, uh, punch the one end. And then this is, I don't think I told you that, that's 1 inch by 6 inches. And just punch the end of that. And there you go. That's it. Any questions, give me a holler. Okie doke. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye.